Tonight, tense moments for passengers just as their plane touched down. What officials say sparked a fire that forced everyone to evacuate. Parents and community members are protesting a decision from a local school board. The message they're hoping to send to the district. But first. Masks have proven to be effective at reducing transmission and are a necessary measure right now, even in some outdoor settings, to help us fight COVID and to protect one another. Another big announcement from the governor of another mask mandate. The changes events organizers are now making with just a few days to plan. That's first on Fox. And good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Wayne Garcia. Nora's off tonight. First on Fox, another big announcement from Governor Kate Brown. Starting Friday, masks will be required in most outdoor settings, regardless of your vaccination status. This mandate is for everyone who's outside and can't distance themselves from other people. It does not apply if you're holding a private event outside, but masks are still encouraged. Similar to the indoor mask mandate, it's for those ages five and up. Governor Brown says the change is because there are 1,000 people now in Oregon in the hospital because of COVID-19. And that number just keeps going up. Fox News' Audrey Wheel has more on this mandate. She joins us now live. Audrey? Wayne, shortly after the governor's announcement today, we got word from the Timbers and Thorns that starting with tomorrow's match, masks will be required in all areas of Providence Park. Now, that's on top of their requirements already to either show proof of vaccination or negative COVID test results. Now, other places are getting ready for this change, too. Around town Tuesday evening, a realization setting in of how serious the COVID crisis in Oregon really is right now. That's frustrating because it is like, here we go again. Why isn't it working? The state's cases and hospitalizations are at a record high, like nothing we've seen at any other point in the pandemic. It's something that we have to get rid of. So if we have to wear the mask again to get rid of it, I guess there's nothing you can do about it. Governor Kate Brown and the Oregon Health Authority say outdoor masking is necessary with the Delta variants spreading so much more rapidly than any previous COVID variants. Someone with Delta has 1,000 times more virus in their nose, and anyone around them is more likely to get sick. That means at the Oregon State Fair, which starts this weekend, everyone age five and up will have to wear a mask both inside and outside. Uh, our number one priority is the health and safety of the people who come to the fair. And I think this makes people uh, safer. At the Hawthorne Farmers Market, an understanding that this might not be what we want to do, but it's what we have to do. When it's 105 degrees and I'm going 100 miles an hour trying to keep it all stocked and sell our products, it, it does get a little stifling wearing a mask in the summer heat, but it is what it is. Market manager Jamie Elkall says she's already seen more people masking up out here anyway in recent weeks. And it's always hard as a market manager to enforce it, but we lead by example, and I, I really hope that it doesn't last as long as it did last year, but we're hopeful and we're so grateful to continue to stay open and serve our community. And we just got to keep on keeping on, you know. We're resilient and we'll get through this. Again, that outdoor mask mandate starts on Friday. Providence Park will be implementing its rules here tomorrow night. But really, the governor says that everyone should start masking outdoors immediately. Reporting live from Providence Park tonight, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12, Oregon. Tomorrow, All for Oregon will be holding a press conference with hospital leaders from Kaiser Permanente, Legacy Health, OHSU, and Providence. They're expected to talk about things like the Delta variant, hospital capacity, and staffing issues. We'll be broadcasting that press conference live right here on Fox 12. It's slated to start at 1 p.m.